Hello and welcome uh, to my ongoing series of the New Zealand Manufactured Regal Miniatures series. If you have an interest in miniature uh, lead soldiers, uh, please hit the like button uh, and I'll continue to produce, hopefully, a number of videos on this topic. This is the last in my series of the Gallipoli uh, figurines. There are a lot more Gallipoli uh, figures made by Regal. This is just the extent of my collection. I'm in no way sponsored or receive any assistance from Regal. I just like their miniatures. As discussed previously, uh, they are a gloss pattern, approximately 54mm side, 54mm high, and made of a, uh, I understand, pewter or uh, metallic substance. This is a... Uh, Regal is a New Zealand firm, uh, and a lot of their uh, products are New Zealand specific. Uh, they focus on mainly soldiers, but they do have a civilian range as well. This is a New Zealand soldier fighting on the Gallipoli Peninsula circa 1915. Uh, this would be uh, a while after the initial landings. We can tell this because the soldier has cut his uh, long New Zealand Army issue uh, olive drab trousers uh, into shorts, which was at the time a common occurrence. He'd still maintain his putties to prevent the dirt and the mud getting in there, and he's discarded his uh, tunic. The New Zealand tunic itself was generally considered at the early stages of the war not to be particularly good. Unlike the Australian tunic, which was billowy and loose, the New Zealand tunic was quite tight-fitting and tailored to the soldier. This meant that they looked good on parade, but uh, the tunic itself could be uncomfortable, uh, constricting and tight to wear, particularly uh, when on active service. The undershirt uh, was the rough New Zealand equivalent. They're initially a light blue, but in the, the, the sands or the heat of the Gallipoli Peninsula, uh, they bleached out white. You can see he's still wearing the 1908 pattern webbing, and he's got a Lee Enfield Mark III rifle with a long sword bayonet. He's wearing the distinctive New Zealand lemon squeezer hat. Uh, the lemon squeezer was initially a mounted rifles hat. Uh, during the rain in the Gallipoli Peninsula, a man named Lieutenant Colonel Malone uh, invented, or correction, turned them into lemon squeezers by pushing the top out, and then pushing it down on four score sides, making a distinctive lemon squeezer shape. This was designed to allow the rain to uh, wash off and not pull. Something that was important for the uh, people, soldiers who were outdoors a lot. The lemon squeezer is still the standard issue ceremonial headdress for the New Zealand Defence Force. Uh, the only exception, correction, the is a mounted rifle hat still in service or issue and that goes to Queen Alexander's mounted rifles. As always I find this pewter question this lead soldier to be of high quality, excellent paint in a what I've been calling a gloss style so you can see his red uh, ruddy cheeks, the high sheen, not realistic but still I really like them. We turn him around uh, we can see he's got his uh, 1908 pattern webbing uh, and he is looking good. Unsure what rank he is, uh, but again, an excellent little miniature, an excellent little action scene in the sense that this is him, this isn't a uh, man on parade marching his best rig. It's designed to show a soldier uh, fighting. Thank you very much. Have a good day.